Field is out and parading for the fourth race. For two-year-old fillies, Illinois conceived and fold. Here's that field of fillies. Number one, R. Lil Orfanani, owned by Ron Phillips of Petersburg. Mike Rogers trains Will Drive. Two, Sammy So True, owned by Ray Hannum of Aldemont. Jim Logan of Kentucky. Hannah, the trainer, with Tony Morgan in the bike. Three, maybe Lacey Baby, owned by John Ratchis of Macomb. Bob Walker trains Andy Miller. Up, four, Dreams and Wishes, owned by Sundance Standardbreds by Dean Derbyshire of Bloomington. Jay Sundean trains Will Drive. Five, two, quick, owned by Steve Renard of Hamilton. Bob Anderson, the trainer and driver. Six, hot legs, owned by Heidi Miller of Springfield. Rick Klitzing trains and is in the bike. And number seven, Illini Party Doll, owned by Debbie and Kippy Penning by Harry Coates, all of Tremont, Tom Simmons. Race the number trainer. four and seven, two-year-old fillies are at the post. Gates rolling. Here they come. They're off and pacing between Phillies. Two quick first away on the inside of two quick. Dreams and Wishes gets out second. Racing third dropped over across the racetrack as Hot Legs. She'll find cover there. Fourth as they race toward the turn is maybe Lacey Baby getting out five. Illini Party Doll. On the inside, six are Lil Orphan Annie. On the trailer is Sammy So True as that field is around the turn, driving now toward the quarter and rushing to the front, leading for Jay Sundin by a length and a half. Dreams and wishes. Getting covered too quick now. Second racing third hot legs. Four past the quarter mile mark as they race now onto the back stretches. Maybe Lacey Baby. Front quarter 29 3, rolling down the back stretch. And on the outside, on the move from way back comes Sammy So True. Morgan, as they drive down the backside, has that Philly rolling. She's now second on the inside, the leader giving way now. Dreams and Wishes will be second. The new leader is Sammy So True. Racing third, too quick, covered all the way. Four is Hot Legs. Five, maybe Lacey Baby. Racing six past the half-mile juncture is Illini Party Doll. Seven is R. Lil Orphan Annie. They were at the half in 58-3 and leading past the draw gate now as they race toward the upper turn and into the turn is Sammy So True. Morgan controlling it by just a length to the outside. Dreams and Wishes, a cold muffler filly up alongside the leader for Sunday as they're midway through the turn, racing toward three quarters. On the outside, Dreams and Wishes on the inside, trying to fight her off, Sammy So True. Positioned, about to come three wide as they're at the top of the lane is maybe Lacey Baby with a lot of pace for Andy Miller. No place to go for Too Quick, buried on the inside for Anderson. And following cover on the outside, Illini Party Doll moves up. They were at the three quarter. That marker 129, they have turned for home, and here comes maybe Lacey Baby, ranging up on the outside. Sammy So True on the inside, maybe Lacey Baby on the outside. That pair side by side, Sammy So True comes back on the inside. Sammy So True wins it. Maybe Lacey Baby second, a photo for third between Illini Party Doll and Dreams and Wishes. Five was too quick, six under the wire, hot legs. Seven is our Lil Orphan Annie. 159, two fifths, semi so true. Here's the winner of that race for pacing fillies, owned by Ray Hanna of Altamont, by Jim Logan of Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Trained by Ray Hanna with Tony Morgan driving, semi so true. Winning filly bred by Cottonwood Farm, Inc of Big Rock, a daughter of Shop Till You Drop by Sun Sam, this Broadway Express filly from an excellent race mare, Shop Till You Drop with a Mark 55 won herself, making this filly a half sister to spend all the money, 55, 421,000.